That's right, guys. It's finally here. It is finally released. The Giggler <laughs> has finally come out for Suicide Squad. And let's just say it is exactly everything that we expected it to be a complete and utter disaster. It is actually kind of funny to see this game play out the way it's been playing out because it's like a slow car crash, you know, happening over and over and over. And the car just keeps getting more dent every single time. And eventually it's going to finally just explode. And that's what's happening with Suicide Squad. It's pretty funny to see. This Suicide Squad update is probably the most like pathetic excuse for new content imaginable because the Joker that you get, you don't get off the bat which i think personally is stupid as shit it's actually crazy to give compliment to the avengers and i've seen probably six or seven videos of people saying at least avengers let you play as these characters right off the goddamn bat as soon as you log in after their update you can go ahead and play as these characters you can go into the menu you can go ahead and play these guys and they actually had a story they had cutscenes. they had things that you can do with these characters you had actual things that were going on with this character besides you have to save him and now he's here and now you do the same shit all over again it's actually pretty pathetic it's kind of sad what they were doing compared to the avengers when you get overshown by the avengers there's something very very wrong let's just be real here when you like promote a new character you should be able to play as that new character as soon as the update drops like no matter what the way that they're doing this here is making you basically do the same missions over and over and over again. Like for three to four hours. I've heard some people say eight hours. I'm like, oh my god, I wouldn't be caught dead playing this shit again. So I I didn't play it again. I, I heard all that shit. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not picking this shit up because I just can't do those missions, bro. It's brain dead. Hurts my brain. I can't play it. I'm not going to even update the game. So let's just say this. The way that this game is being, you know, updated is a complete and utter f***ing disaster. Doing that while also having a paywall for the Joker saying, oh, you could, you could purchase him for $10 if you wanted to. Bro, they literally marketed this game as free, free characters that would be coming to this game with the only thing that would be purchasable would be microtransactions, not characters. I would also like to mention how that's actually like pay to win technically. So people that want to play the game and grind the game, they have to grind three hours, but people that want to not play the game and not grind, they can just pay to basically win all of those missions. It's pay to win. No matter how you look at it, you are literally getting an advantage with this character by playing and paying for him early. That's what's happening here. That's exactly what's going on. It is actually shocking. Nobody's calling this shit out. They never once mentioned the fact that you can buy these characters it, or, or the fact that they would be locked behind a grindy gameplay system. It is bonkers because the way they're setting up the grind makes it more incentive. <laughs> it gives you more of an incentive to buy him. Because why the fuck would you want to grind this piece of shit game? They know that you don't want to play their game. So they're like, ah, here's an option to pay for them. When they already promised that they wouldn't do that shit. I'm like, whoa, is nobody even like mentioning the fucking goddamn <laughs> false marketing that they just did for this game? To top it all off, the content that they give you, the only new thing that they give you is Joker, a motion comic cutscene, and a fucking goddamn cutscene that's like two minutes long that was already already half half of that shit was in the trailers before the game came out i'm like you how i also find it incredibly infuriating that this harley has like no reaction to the joker this is everything this harley wanted she wanted another joker back and now she has like zero reaction besides been there done that don't like comedians anymore it's oh my god they don't give a fuck about this goddamn universe they really do not give a singular fuck about what this universe is what this harley could they, there, there literally could have been a whole hour story that they could have made about this whole entire dynamic between a new joker and this harley quinn that was obsessed with joker it's basically like injustice 2 i really don't see why they didn't go full blown into this it's so bonkers to me joker had so much potential here and they wasted every second of them it's fucking sad man how are people falling for this even like the biggest defenders aren't even falling for this shit anymore right now what is it at 408 players <laughs> they just updated their fucking new shit bro 
They wanted to turn every player that played this shit into the Joker. That's why they fucking released this go goddamn garbage of a thing. Even the boss battle that they have for the fucking ending isn't even goddamn new. It's just Green Lantern. I've seen, like, so many people asking, what the fuck are they going to do? What exactly what are they going to do when they run out of Justice League members? Because after Superman, it's Batman, which chronologically doesn't f***ing make sense. Are they just skipping Batman because it doesn't make sense and it's the worst boss battle in the whole game? Like, how the f***? What, is he going to chemically induce you with fear toxin? And then Harley Quinn's going to somehow r reverse the fear toxin? And then you're going to fight Nightmare Bat? Brainiac? Like, what the f*** are they going to do? And... <laughs> I don't think anybody really gives a shit what they're gonna do, but like how how are they gonna make this at all continue? I, I've heard somebody actually say in their video they think that Roxette is purposefully kind of bashing their own game and throwing it into the can already by doing stupid shit and keeping these bugs and these glitches and all this stupid garbage and having all these login issues and all that. They're, they want the game to die. They want the game to actually can. And actually be a fucking goddamn disaster. Because then everybody's like, fuck this. We don't want this from Rocksteady anymore. We want what we had from Rocksteady. But even then, it's not the same Rocksteady. It's not. So, if they made a Superman game, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, a fucking... Nobody's... There's gonna be a, a lure of fucking doubt. There's always gonna be somebody that comes in and be like, <laughs> Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice... You remember that? You remember that? That was your mans. That was your mans there. <laughs> I heard they caught him on six. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I'll stop right there. I'll stop right there. There's too many There's too many things that I can say right there. Um, Overall, this Joker DLC is just flat out fucking disgusting. It is an insult to fans, it, it, to people that actually were looking forward to this game. I actually feel bad for the people that like this game because I don't go out and look for people that like this game and try to bash them. I'm not trying to convince anybody that likes this game that they shouldn't like this game. What I am doing is just giving my opinion and some people take offense to that and I feel bad for those people because now look what they got. The same shit with a slightly different character that they're going to get bored of in like 20 hours. I mean there's going to be like 400 players that like the game whoa and to top it all off the battle pass that you have to freaking earn all those skins all the new stuff with it takes like what was it 1500 missions and 200 hours yeah no shit no wonder why no wonder why they were like oh yeah this thing never expires y'all can play this as much as you want because it's just gonna take forever if they ever fucking had a time limit you want to be able to freaking you want to be able to get anything it's ridiculous so this game is in the dumpster bro honestly i'm i'm just gonna uninstall it i have no reason to, it's already gone for my playstation it's gonna be gone for my pc very soon i have no reason to actually play this game i have no motivation to play this game but i do have a lot of motivation to talk a lot of shit about this game and i can't wait to talk more shit when season two episode or episode two half of the fucking goddamn season comes out later like bro all you had to do was release all of this like a week after the game came out. And I think a lot of people would have been more forgiving. I mean, you already had it done. You already had the final cutscene of the fucking DLC finished when you finish and you get them. I'm like, dude, this is ridiculous. So I want to know where you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. It's been really, really fun to talk about this game. I'm going to keep talking shit about it as much as I want. I'm going to be talking about more stuff in the future. So thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.